All right. So back to this. I don't even I think this is part 26. Honestly, I could be completely wrong. 36. So I was 10 off. I believe part, what was it, 26? I don't remember which part we wrapped up. Series. I think it was part 25. I think it was exactly part 25. Um, But again, the main thing being we're continuing carrying on with Mox Rot. We left off on the weekend interaction. No, they're going to whatever, you know, um, town, place, right? You know, but again, you know, it's it's kind of interesting to see like, because they're basically just we we know the circumstances surrounding sort of the start of their, you know, of the route, right? But it's basically evolved into kind of like just a normal, you know, like just a normal, you know, I don't even want to say a couple, but just like normal friends, right? Like they're like pretty much friends at this point, I can say, because before, like they definitely weren't, you know, but they're they're again, you know, they're they're actually like enjoying each other's company now. So, you know, that's uh it's good for them, and we'll kind of see. I'm I'm curious to see how the confession is going to play out because they already know about each other's issues. I think maybe the only thing I can see is him opening up about maybe there's some conflict involving Monica with her parents, but again, him opening up about his past with Haruna, and then obviously how that confession is going to play out. But you know, because I was going to say maybe you know there's no because like she kind of already has. She knows what she needs to know, right, Monica, in terms of, like, his past, right? So maybe he doesn't he doesn't open up about her, or at least doesn't need to. But confession's going to happen at some point, right? So, you know, is this not the same place? Like, all right, that, that's a, I, I should have expected a response like this. That's what I was going to say. Why is he saying incredible? Like, and then just, you know, most, like, just... Yeah, two minutes in, it's like, hey, that's like two seconds. He literally just got there. Like, that's what I was like. Honestly, I shouldn't have been surprised with a response like that, you know, or a uh, comment like this. That's what I was going to say. I was incredible, you know. The genericness, you know. But, like, this is, like, the type of town that I live in, right? It's like, you know, it's because they're... They're just gain a wave, right? And I think that's something that you, I don't want to say the MC's really picked up on yet, but like they're just gain away from everything. Like it's like one of my favorite parts of any mon I've played is New Eyes and Rain Clouds when Sayori and Yuri uh skip town for like a day. That's I'd say my favorite sequence out of nearly any mod that's out there. And it's just so iconic because like that's basically what it is, right? I mean, even ignoring the whole sentience aspect, it's just getting away for whatever period, right? Like, you know, being able to go in, I I can, like, definitely, well, I'd say now it's a bit different because I have a car, right? But in college, whenever I'd go, like, off campus, like, you know, taking, like, transportation to just go, just go somewhere else, right? You know, off campus into, like, the main like city or outskirts or whatnot right like that that was kind of a similar feel to where like i could get away from my problems for like you know however long of a period of time before i inevitably needed to come back but again that was like it was a good feeling i really did enjoy it right but i i just don't think he sees that yet you know i mean but again that's why this is you know so Hey, that's nice. And even just something basic and simple like a park, right? Because it's really just the the time they're spending together, you know? All right, you know. Score, bro. That's why I'm like, this arbitrary score and point system, you know? And again, same park background as always, you know? Huh. I mean, but it's also like, because I also feel like people, it's like, it, it's like, I don't know, like, I don't want to say, like, because you see it among both city and country folk to where it's like, there's like an air of superiority 
regarding their like uh living situation or like people in the city i think they view themselves as superior to like you know people who live in the country because i think they view them as more like oh it's more blue collar more you know uh working class right you know more uh like i don't even want to go as far as say conservative but i think there's more uh like some like they view as like lower intelligence you know or like not as like aware and i think on the flip side vice versa people in the country like they kind of view it is like you know oh the city folk like they're like ungrateful like they rely on all of our efforts to maintain their way of living you know they're ungrateful like hippies i guess you know and that they're just like snobby like artisans like shit like like i definitely do think there is a in i'd say for me again growing up in like suburbs but i'd say more like i definitely grew up in a more like i i grew up in a more i'd say rural suburban area not like super urban suburban but like more of a but it was also yeah more rural suburban area right um but again, I've lived, co my college campus was more urban, suburban, I'd say. Like, it wasn't like a city, but it was definitely more urban. <clears throat> um, I You could pretty much walk everywhere, which is why I consider that to be, um, Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, now I live in a much more, like, rural, I live in the town of 5,000, right? But, like, when I was in Georgia, that was a much more urban place. I lived in a town of 200,000, right? So... I've lived in many different, like, you know, um, the only place I haven't lived is just the complete bumfuck country and then, like, complete city. Like, so just those two extreme ends. But it, it definitely does seem there is, like, like people have an air superiority for their own living situation, right? You know, like, even the MC, he's, like, generic ass town, but he doesn't realize that, you know, there are people who grew up and, like, lived here their whole lives, like, and like there are people who are looking at the MC's living situation and saying, Oh, what the fuck? Dude's living in the suburbs. What the hell? Like, how can you even fucking live here, raise a family here? Right. D All right. I do like I'm I'm not gonna I, I think the MC is like perfect interior decoration. I have to defend him on that, but all right, you know. Yeah, you know, it's like he's he's just operating on a different plane of existence. Like that's can help. Let's see. So you gonna go somewhere here or you know, like go eat or something? Like shut the fuck up, dude. Can't can you just like enjoy it? like I, I think you know, and, and this is why like like I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm a very to the point person, but I also appreciate small talk. Like I find people who say like, oh I hate small talk, and then they just start talking about whatever just like they're like, oh, I hate small talk. It's literally like the one meme where it's fucking um, Jaden Smith. It's like, let's talk about the political, economic state of the world. It's like, fuck no, no. Like, who wants to talk about that shit? Like, that that's how I imagine people who say they hate like small talk. And then it's like, I can then let me take out my outlandish fucking political beliefs, and then we'll see what you have to say about that. But you know, the the point being that's like like you can't just enjoy like a little company like dude like chill the fuck out like you know he he's just like he's like oh I need I need to be doing something like I I need my dopamine hit like you know literally like just brain rot like you know all right what the fuck is she saying all right bitch advice like he's not the one taking you out like what the hell like let's see you know. Say town, dude. We this is an arbitrary number. We don't know what the yeah. That's why I was like, you know, a uh, zero. Like, I mean, shit. Compared to like, you know, just whatever else. Like, yeah. Like, and, and this is because that this is the point. Being, they're really the only two people who can be honest with each other, right? And that's what makes like this type of you know activity work where they're just enjoying each other's company because other than that there's no they can't really enjoy the company of our people the closest would be sayori but even then given this isn't her out right and i think just given the nature of 
her involvement in the MC's past, right? Like there's certain things he just can't tell her, right? And keep her at a bay, arm's length, right? Yeah, and again, well, no, she doesn't, because you also don't care about the impression you leave on her. Like, you know. Oh, that's funny. I was I was about to say this is pretty funny because that's normally again, like that was always a Sayori. And he's done that to literally everyone else. Like literally everyone else. It happened. He did that to Natsuki, to Yuri, to Rika. Right, you know. It's about, and of course, he just comes up with whatever bullshit excuse, you know. Boy, and that just freaking like yanks your arm out of your fucking socket, like just dislocates your shoulder. Because that's obviously it's not what he was going for. But he could be like, oh, yeah, I normally do a Sayori, right? So almost terminally, he just dies, like actually dies, like. What's he doing? Like. All right. Well, all right. What the hell? <laughs> all right. I'm not going to lie. This is a pretty crazy scene. Fucking this! This is like this, I'd say this is debatably worse than Rika walking in on him because that's just on her, and then he just said crazy shit. All right, to be it was a crazier scene that they were making out in the fucking locker room. That's like, all right, man, come on. But yeah, like that, he's like in the middle of fucking public. They're literally in the middle of park. Like, what the hell are they doing? Um, yeah, yeah. How about fucking check his neck, dumbass? You know, you got like multiple places you can check balls. You you check via the wrist, via the neck. Pretty sure there's even a pulse on the feet. Like. Bro, he just actually just like takes off his entire fucking shirt, starts flexing. You know? Yeah, that's why it's like, what the fuck, you know? And this is all because he could, like, he could have just said some shit like, oh, I was going to pat your head, right? You know? Or rock bed, dude. Imagine he has a fucking beer belly. That'd be hilarious. Like. But we do know he's, like, dude's fit, like, you know. Hey, yeah, that's good, you know. That's what I was also about to say. Like, I mean, why why do you think people go on walks in parks and, like, in nature? Even take a look at NYC with, you know, Central Park, right? Like, and even I'm pretty sure Chicago is a park, too, right? It's like, uh, I don't know. But, like, why do you fucking think, you know, they, uh, all right, M's, whatever, you know. All right, funny as fuck. I'm not even going to lie. That's hilarious. Uh, that's actually pretty fucking hilarious. I'm not even going to lie. Like, he's like, damn, I'm I'm going into points debt here. Uh, I'd say, yeah, dude, somewhere in the negatives. Hey, we got, hey it's got to start somewhere, you know. Yeah, dude's in debt, bro. It's over. She actually, like, dying? What the hell? Like. All right, what the fuck is I? Right, this, I'm not going to. I, I want to say the MC would absolutely dust her, but I actually don't know, like, race. I mean, t she's wearing, like, fine clothes for Ryan. We need to see what the MC is wearing. If the MC is wearing, like, some crazy shit, like, he's wearing, like, jeans, he's like, all right, let me take off my shirt, you know? Shut the... F we all right, but to... To... From to, you know, like... Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Like, dude, this is a... He's getting his own mess, but, like... Th in the middle of a park? Like, goddamn, you know... All right, bro. He's he's got a lock in now. He's got a lock in now. Race to the entrance. What's I right, gambling? Ah, oh, I'm wearing it now. Wearing it now. All right. What's the wager? It's it, all right. Whatever. I was going to say, it's literally the same regardless of who wins. Like, you know. Sure. Like, 
Yeah, that's what I was going to say. You know, it's rigged. Like, these are... Dude, that's a win regardless, both ways. Like, what the hell? You know? Yeah, he gets gambling. He's a gambler, you know? Oh, what? Or as... Yeah, he's like, all right, I got. He's really got a lock in now. Bro, that's why I'm like, you know. Oh, right, yeah, he's done for, you know. Because I was genuinely curious. I'm like, hey, maybe the MC's guy, because we know he runs, right? You know, he jogs, but like, we don't really know how much, you know, beyond that he does, right? But we do know that she used to play volleyball and seemingly still keeps up, you know, with uh, physical fitness. So, you know, right? Was, I think it was just a question. So it looks like he's got to gotta buy lunch now, old uh, loser. Go to the most expensive place. They're dying, you know. Yeah, I mean, dude, that's why I'm like the MC's a sleeper, you know. Because even we saw, like, he's low-key a genius, right? So I wouldn't have been surprised if he was low-key. Like, that That would have – because it's honestly – and especially because he's on track, right? Like, shit, I didn't even think about that. This is literally, like, he's been on the track team. So, like, like the MC low-key – like, and it, this is why, like, I'm – I think this is easily my favorite iteration of the MC. Because, like, I, I don't like the whole, like, typical, like, MC trope. I mean, I, I get why it's the case, but, like, I'm just not really a fan. And I do think, I'm not going to lie, Fruits MC is just way too, like, it's way too much. But this, I feel like, is a perfect story. We have an MC who, like, given his past, it makes sense why, because, like, he's not Haruna level, but he's still actually, like, really, like, he's, like, a prodigy in his own, right? I mean, 13 in his class and just naturally gifted at running. Like, that's... In his own right, he's better than most of his peers. But of course, you know, that's something you can't really acknowledge, right? And again, like, and I think that's funny that I brought that up. He's not, he's really not normal. He himself is above, not, not just above, way above average, you know. But again, this is just the impression he gives off because he, even though he's way above average, right, he's not going to be able to compare himself to Haruna, right? And views kind of, and even if he does acknowledge it, he attributes that to her because he's trying to emulate her rather than be his own person. So. When he say that, what the fuck? Like, you know, I, you know, he, he just, I was about to say what he just does, whatever, you know, and most expensive place, go to a steakhouse. It's over for him to be fair. He probably has the money. Like, This was um which mod was this in? This was in uh well no, it was in this one, right? I'm stupid. This is where he went to with Sayori, right? This was the background that they had uh there. I just it, it's it was earlier in this mod, just it's been a while, right? I mean, if it's a good time of year, that's the whole point, right? Like I never went on a single picnic. What are you talking about? It's just it, it's if it's it's if it's a, Jesus Christ if it's a good time of year, like, damn what the fuck like going through like the freaking force like, why like? That's what I was about to say. You know, if if they're even by themselves, like shit. You know, like I just like I just assume oh they can afford to eat on their own like you know no reason to like have comfort like makoto that has to be a character on makoto anime all right i think that's too common of a name but i was like i was getting i was gonna say probably a reference all right bro what what snarky ass remark are they about to fucking say? What fucking snarky? There's no way they're not going to say it. I, I can already tell. They're about to have the snarkiest fucking remark of all. What are they about to say? 
All right. That's, uh, honestly, that's, hey, I'm not even going to lie. That's, that's better than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be like, how'd you land a catch like this? And it's like, am I right? You know, fucking dap him up. But I guess it's also, you know, uh, female, right? So a bit more. If it was a dude, that definitely was how that conversation would have gone. But I guess, you know, this isn't too bad. Like, so also saying this out loud is pretty crazy. Like, he could have been like, oh, this is my sister. What the hell are you talking about? Like, you know. Yeah, he's like, hey, you know, about my uh, weight class here, you know. Bitch, like, it's literally, what, what is this, dude? Like, you, it, this is literally, like, fucking Comey can't communicate levels of, like, fucking, like, where it's just, like, it's, like, just, like, and, like, the very just presence and essence, you know, that she radiates is, like, you know, it's like someone like, oh, a small town person like me hasn't seen someone so beautiful. It's like, what the hell are you talking about? Like, you know. I mean, I'm not even gonna lie, like, because like, what what else, what other option is there really? Like, you're not gonna be like, oh, she's not my, uh, she's not actually my uh, girl. Like, this isn't like fucking anime where like someone would say that and, be, and the main character would be just like flustered, right? Like, if anything, he could have said some shit like, oh, she's actually my sister. But, you know, like, if if he were that worried, right? But, like, I mean, like, you're not going to argue with a waitress. Like, you know, there's, like, or, like, because the, also the direction is if you're, like, oh, we're just friends, you'd be, like, sure, you know, <laughs> right? Like. Yeah, and because funny enough, it, it was probably similar for whenever he'd be somewhere with Haruna. Obviously, different case scenario because she was actually his sister. But people just normally assume that anyway, right? What? What the hell does that even mean? A young man paid her financially. All right, you know, so fuck. All right, so it's literally just a. It is the receiving end of a fucking. Literally, just she's is a sugar mommy, you know. Oh, hey, that's... I, I don't know why I thought Haruna. I forgot about Sayori, but I guess, you know, hey, that, that Loki does make sense, though, right? That he would be accustomed to that. Because, like, that's just what people assume regardless, right? Yeah. Yeah, like, to be fair, that is kind of, like... Because I think, to be fair, I do think it would be more... Because, like, that wasn't rude. Like, like this wasn't rude. Like, because it wasn't like she was saying something like, oh... Why are you with, like if the waitress who went to mock and be like, oh, are you with this dude? Like that would have been rude as fuck. Even if it were a dude and he was like, hey man, you know, good pull or some shit like that. Like, or it's like, you know, you're hanging above your league. That would be rude, right? But like, I mean, I can't see how it would get annoying, you know. Yeah, that's all right. To be fair, that is the case. Like, because if it were the last one, like, oh, you make a nice couple, like that. That you're complimenting both of them, but it's always just the other, right? Like I can't see this getting annoying after some time. Like, and again, all right. Now, now he's just saying. I was gonna say like he was low key speaking facts, but now he's just saying shit. Like, you know, our step parents. All right, yeah. That's I'm not gonna lie, low key. He could just say some crazy shit. Like, yeah, he always says the engagement one with Sayori, right? That's that's the one he always does. But step parents are filing for divorce, like. Yeah, dude, that's what I was going to say. You know, he does actually say that shit around Sayori, so. Could be worse. I mean, fucking, you know. I mean, yeah, you could be Kiba. Wait, like, that would be such a crazy, uh. Hair gel? Hey, bro, what? He's going to gel up his hair, you know, fucking go some crazy, like, mullet. Let's see. Yeah, hey, that's that fair point, you know. And again, like the point being, like, again, and with that last remark, right? You know, because that was that was the whole point that Rika made, right? Because like with Yuri and Natsuki, it was interesting because they never really went on like dates. I mean, they they spent time together, but it, it was much more focused on like their like hobby. It's particularly reading, but obviously because Rika, she's just mainly there for the athletics, right? You know, they went on more like, I guess, dates, right? But even though they weren't, they were, even though I guess there was like potential, it's really, it's still the mental barrier that the MC has, right? 
it, it's the equivalent of like even if you don't acknowledge it, right, it might still be that thing, right? You know, or you might as well at least act as if it is, right? So, like, he's having this weird, like, like he's joking about it being a date, right? Like, because he's calling it a date, but he's mostly joking, right? Like, he's, like, insinuating, but lo and behold, that might actually be what she's trying to get out of it, right? He just doesn't really, it's the barrier between thinking something is something and it actually being that thing. I know that sounds like convoluted, but it's again, it's just the, it's the equivalent of like him and Sayori, like thinking that they're a couple or at least that they are like a couple versus actually being one. It's the same thing here. Like he's thinking, oh, this is like a date or, you know, I'm going to insinuate it versus it actually being one if he would just shut the fuck up, like, you know. And to be fair, funny thing, like, because actually, I'm a dumbass. He went here with Rika because this is where he ordered the steak and she ordered that, like, small ass salad, you know? Yeah, like, that's what I was going to I'm not sure. What kind of, all right, weird ass fucking comment. Like, I don't remember how, but you're, like, I'm not sure how. Like, that's such a weird lead off. Like, you know. I mean, and yeah, that's fair because, like, you know, and, and this is one thing I, I talk about, right? Because, like, I, I talked about the whole, this literally may have been a part or two ago, the whole, like, diet fad. Like, it seems like when people diet, at least for the most part, they don't really do it for, like, health or whatever. It's more so their own, like, perspective on what it means to be, like, you know, healthier, that this diet will be the cure for, like, whatever issue right like and i think it's more so with the onset of carnivore diets because i think people look at that and they're like oh i need to just eat natural and then they just eat like the carnivore diet but it's like all right i mean and they'll be like oh these studies say this but that's like all right what about other studies and or just eating what you know like being like an omnivore right and just eating just healthier in general and not like going with some fad diet because even I think, you know, vegetarians and vegans, right? There's the moral aspect, right? Like, but then it's also like, if th that gets down a rabbit hole, of, oh, you know, you're a vegetarian, but you fly a plane, which emits X amount of carbon, right? You know, like shit like that. But then there's also the issue where people are like, oh, you know, I'm like fat or whatever, you know, or <laughs> I'm trying to be healthy. So I'm just going to stop eating meat. It's like, because a stud, this, these studies show, and that's all right. What about these other studies and just eating clean in general, right? Being an omnivore. I think I, I brought up the Mediterranean diet. It's really good. Like, you know, like, unless it's like a diet specifically pertaining to a type of cuisine around the world or, you know, custom like that way, like, or if like with the way it's prepared, like halal is a big thing, right? You know, unless it's like that then like that's more of like all right you're just healthy in general but if you're on like and i don't want to say being vegetarian is fad but it seems like a lot of people turn to that as kind of more of like not because they want to just they do want to be healthy but it's through their own skewed kind of perspective on things versus like what if i just eat clean and work out more like you know stuff like that let's see also yeah to, all right i'm not gonna lie that is kind of crazy because even if he had it, all right, all right, I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty crazy for the MC. Even if he had a sneaking suspicion that she was a vegetarian, like if I was in his shoes and she ordered a salad, I'm not ordering a big ass fucking steak. That's actually pretty fucking crazy. Like, I'm not even gonna lie. Like, that's and she kind of brings up a point here, but that's still pretty crazy eating steak in front of a vegetarian. I wouldn't do it out of courtesy, right? Like, I'm not like the type of people say, like, oh, fuck vegans, you know, just eat like animal products. Like, like I, I'm gonna be courteous. Like I'm not gonna even if it's like if it's a dish that has smaller portions of meat in it. Like, but like I'm not ordering a fucking steak. Like that's actually pretty insane. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, and again, this is this is actually pretty interesting because this I don't know what he's referring to by this. We haven't heard anything pertain to that. You know, maybe that was just something his mother fed him. Like. Bro, there's no way this dude's hungry after eating an entire fucking steak. Like, kind of facts, you know. Aaron's, you know. And again, you know, that's why it's like, well, I was also going to point out, like, where the fuck is she going on the weekends in uniform, right? Tutoring other students, right? Jesus Christ. 
to be fair, you know, in high school, I do recall there were like juniors and seniors, upperclassmen who like, cause you, we'd have like a library, right. And you would also have like, um, this is like, even, this is even out of school tutoring. Like you had people who could help you on certain subjects, right. You know, and specifically on like whatever courses that were taught, mostly geared towards underclassmen and usually taught by order, but it was, it was usually like a school, but I guess this has to be outside since it's a weekend. Right. So extra funding, you know? Yeah. I mean, middle scores. All right. Z same age. They're like, I need help, please. Like I'm about to fail. Like, all right. What? All right. He, he's just saying shit, but I was going to say like, I, I was genuinely thinking about it from the perspective of like, they're like seniors who are borderline failing their classes. Like, not for that, you know. He's like, I need to grind for points, you know. Wait, what do you see? Do you see? I thought you said game recognizes game or some shit. Like, and again, like this is what I even said because it's interesting how, you know, it's interesting how, because she even said he was like normal or average, right? But. I've said the MC is far above average. Dude's like a genius and he's a prodigy at track. Like he's got the athletics and academic side on lock, right? Like he's actually like way above average when it comes to that. But again, it's, it's his own mental block or barrier regarding him thinking that he, again, he's always below Aruna, right? And even whenever he does get praised for something, it's because he's trying to emulate, him, Right. You know, rather than he himself is actually this good human being, right? So, and again, right? And this is interesting, right? You know? What, what, what if we would say this, you know? Yeah, so. Huh. That's why I was like, I just wanted to make sure we're going the most optimal one, right? Yeah, but it's like, you know. Well, we know because it's not actually that bad. Like, because the problem is the MC's perspective and the way he frames it, he just thinks his entire existence is like a fraud. But anyone hearing is going to be like, that's, I mean, I'm I'm sorry. Like, they, it's not like some grand revelation that's going to cause them to like leave the MC or even think he's a bad person. They're just going to be aware of the demons he's fighting, right? It's kind of like how Sayori, it, it's very similar to Sayori. Where again, where she thinks as though people learn about depression, all of a sudden she's like, or they think her entire existence is like, you know, fake, right? It's due to the framing of it. And again, that's what is causing all this trouble for them. So, in the sense, yeah, with Haruna. And that's why I just want to make sure we hit that, right? So. Yeah, it's like there is none, you know. Yeah, like, you know. And yeah, he's just being up front. And, but obviously, he's eventually going to work his way to Harun. But, you know. Yeah, and, it's, it, and this is even because... My original, like, sort of working theory or interpretation was that this only really started after Haruna's passing. But it's interesting how, I believe it was in your job, even Haruna had some disdain when she was alive. So I definitely think it was just something that compounded, but definitely was always there. So. Because it, it's interesting, you know, to where it's like, because Monica, even from her perspective, despite all the bullshit that she's going through, she still sees it as out of a place of love, right? Because it's ironic how they have basically the exact opposite experience, you know, and opposite, you know, problem with their parents. But I will say at the very least from Monica's perspective, 
she at least feels as though what they're doing to her is coming out of a place of love, right? They want to see her succeed. So despite all the bullshit she has to put up with, it is for that inherent reason and purpose, right? But the MC can't view it in that light, you know? And again, his sister, right? So... Yeah, he's like, yeah, he did lose, right? Loser, you know, ah, oh. bitch, energy, what, like aura, like. I'm glad I went and changed that decision though. So, because I thought it was gonna be, you know, Let's see, oh, 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 one piece, one. Oh my god, my brain is fucking rotted. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, because she, again. Well, also, it's just, I, it's more about the time. She does, she did have a point, right? That, you know, there could have been a better time. But reality is, you know, if you're just going to constantly wait, you know, you're never going to find the time, right? So. And is this him just coming clean? Like, that is it. Good to know. At least there is next time, right? You know, so looks like they're like finally going to open up, right? Email? What the hell? Dude, text her, bro. What the hell? Email is crazy, you know? Wait, what did he say? I thought he was going to say, you know, Where the hell is this? You know, where the fuck is she? This art. I think I, I might want to save this for the next one. This is going to be, this is going to be, I think, a crazy, crazy. I, I think we might want to just inherently save this one for the next part, because I think this is going to take a big turn that we... Hey, or may not want to indulge it. So I'm going to end it here. Um, I figured it was only inevitability, but we'll see what uh what happens. But I guess who knows? We're uh, let's go a little bit more, right? Oh, about their trips. All right, yeah. So rather than her tutoring, like, and obviously, if she had normal parents, this wouldn't be an issue. But given you know hers, right? Rather than her, again, it's it's a twofold, right? What not only is she not tutoring and doing what she's supposed to be doing, but she's also in lieu of it going out with some random boy, right? You know, <laughs> like again, so it's and again, that's that's what I was gonna say. And this is it's interesting because despite the fact that their parents are on the exact opposite ends of the spectrum. when it comes to like it's weird well i guess you'd say you've got like monica's parents on one end natsuki's parents on the other the mc's like right in the middle but it's interesting because monica and even to an extent natsuki like still think their parents are doing it out of a place of law versus the mc's is just hate right you know so I mean, th th and that's literally why she set up this whole arrangement for situation scenarios like this, right? All right, dude. I'm definitely going to end it here. Also, I'm curious, what, what happens if we do this, right? Okay, so that's what I was going to say. I mean, I definitely do think because in this load save is from uh, this bottom choice, right? So, but I mean, obviously we're going to accept, right? But I do think, you know, kind of glad I went a bit more, but we are going to put an end to it here, right? Um, again, because it's like,
this is basically exactly what you know. You know, honestly, let's let's just do it now. Let, let's just try to play through this now, right? So, yeah, because even he's saying like you kind of gotta iron things out, but you can still the house is open, right? So, and, and this is a good chance to again clear up the air of what happened yesterday or last time, right? But I mean, like, well, that shit doesn't matter. Like, one, he's not your average dude. Like, that is a good point to make. Like, he's not fucking Joe Schmo. Two, it's like, she's also not your average woman, too, right? Like, they're not average people. And based on their personalities and the situation at hand, this makes sense. Like, you know, for the for the joke she made earlier about, you know, being carried, right? I don't think she's actually worried about, like, this is like, he's going into, like, a Natsuki train of thought, right? So... Yeah, so. Yeah, to be fair, like, you know, this is basically how it has been, you know. Yeah, then I think because this is probably if you think about it, this is genuinely probably the first time. I mean, despite the fact that she's definitely like lied to her parents before and is definitely kind of gotten out of things before. This is like really the first time where it's kind of been, you know. Been for another person, I guess is a good way to put it, right? And then again, like, yeah, that's why it's like now's not the time to smoke and joke, like, you know. Damn, that's tough. Oh, and this was, you know, whatever last day, right? Who the fuck is the PTA? Bro, this is why it's like, Low key glad I wasn't like born super rich into like whatever. I'm I'm glad I was born like you know well off like into a well off family upper middle class, but like I'm glad I wasn't born like into fucking the elite and like super because like what the hell is the PTA? Who the fuck cares about what the PTA thinks? Like I what organization is this? Like you know. All right, yeah, you know who the all right, but to be fair, like that was a situation where I think she needed to come clean. Because, like, now they just know that she's lying, blatantly lying to them, right? The family name, whatever bullshit, you know. There would be new. That's why I'm like, I think that that was kind of her own. I don't want to say that's her own fault. But in that situation, she definitely just needed to come clean. Like, she was already caught. No point in line. Like, that just made it worse. Like... Yeah, but also, like, and again, it's like, because that's that's kind of the, re like, I, I think a lot about how, because let's put it this way, right? You know, I feel like, and this is uh, the case for a lot of people, a lot of people, you know, they think about their parents and their experience growing up whenever they're raising a kid, right? I mean, it's only natural, but the reality is whether consciously or unconsciously, subconsciously or whatever, you're going to pick up certain traits, especially if you come from like not functional households and you end up having like kids, right? You know, like, and it's something to where at the end of the day, right? Like you, it's something to where it's like, chances are her parents grew up in similar, you know, conditions, right? Like they come from a family of whatever, holding the family name chances are that's something that they were told when they were kids right at least you know again right so it's it's something to where it's like they're doing it to her because it was done to them and it's just again it's something being drilled in you for that long like you really have no other alternative or option right we made the comparison when she spent her free time studying just because there's no concept of free time right? It's been all but destroyed, right? It's a similar case there. Like, to them, like, it's not about the, they never had a childhood because their focus was on a point in that family name. So it doesn't 
to them, it just doesn't even register that like someone who's a kid would want to do their own thing, right? Because that was was never something they got, right? So, but that's why something like this need honestly, she just needed to come clean. That was kind of partially that was the wrong move on her end, but you know. Yeah, to be fair. Yeah, like, that's fair, right? You know? Yeah, that is a little extreme, but it's also like, because that's the situation he's in, right? You know? Yeah, like... Because that's kind of what she's been. I mean, it's it's the same logic in how she kind of went to public school. Like she did everything in her power to still go to public school, and even if it meant doing everything that they want, like that's it's the same instance. Or you know, it's the same sort of issue, right? Yeah. But also, to be fair, like this might be the wake up call. Because if I had to bet. It, well, regardless of whether her parents did something similar than they were young or if they hadn't, because if they did something similar, they can have that relational aspect there. And if they didn't, this is something that's completely new to them. And especially if she's not coming back home, right, for the night, like that's this may be what was kind of needed. This may be like this conflict may be what was kind of needed for them to kind of reevaluate their relationship and kind of her path, right? All right, you know. Damn, what the fuck? Why? Whoa! You know. Damn, like. Holy shit, dude, what the hell? Like, dude, what the hell was that? Like, Damn, you know. I mean, that's not that. I think, yeah. They, and all right, granted, I don't think she should necessarily say everything that he told her to, right? But I do think, you know, she did need to come clean. Like, I think her line only made it worse, but she have come clean, and that kind of leads to this conversation, but. Damn, like Jesus, you know. Yeah, dude, that I'm not gonna lie, that was pretty crazy. Like you mind uh backing up a bit? What the hell are you doing? Like Yeah, it's like you uh you lost, you know. Shut the fuck up, dude. All right, what what's going on? What happened? You know, didn't she not just fucking run out the door like what? Hold on. Didn't she just leave the fucking room like Dude, how long was he out? How fucking long was he gone? Like, they, he had to have been out for at least a few hours. I mean, she completely changed clothes, too. What the hell, you know? And that's this is what I was going to say, because that's what needed to happen, you know? Because chances are, you know, her parents... never kind of realized what they were doing right they again they thought and this is why like this is how she knows that they love her right because they were probably doing it because they thought it was what was best but seeing you know their daughter that way it's like makes them realize you know shit maybe that's not the case maybe we were wrong you know
all right, dude, dude, she needs to stop, like, with this compulsive line. Like, I, I, I gotta be 100% honest. She needs to stop with this shit. Like, that's actually, like, all right, you know. Sorry, right, you know. Yeah, to be fair, like, you know. Uh, oh, it ain't too bad. I was gonna. Say, it's like you dumbass. Who do you think the friend is? You fucking idiot! Like, you know. Yeah. All right, MC, literally brain dead. But also, eleven ain't too bad. I thought she was gonna say it was like it's three a.m. You know. Oh, where the fuck I misclicked. It's like oh, so he always plays right down the street. All right. Now, now he's just fucking like saying shit. Like, you know. Bro, like, you, you, all right, this isn't the first time, like, all right, dude, what the hell are you talking about, like, he literally just got up, he just got woken up, he's still, like, groggy, like, terminally, bro, all right, that's, uh, I'm that dude, that's still crazy, why, all right, He, he's just doing shit at this point, like. Huh? Like, oh, she actually. Dude, yeah, why? All right, that's all I was going to say. What? All right, whatever, you know. Subconscious, unless he's like some weird, like, you know, like people would like control their own, like, uh, breathing, like. Oh, all right. You know, the stairs, Amori? Dude, this is early Amori. Oh, my God. Yeah, she, she, she that's why I was like, she was laying it happen. You know, she, she, all right. She, he just says shit, like, you know. Oh, he, he actually just fucking bitch the Matrix, like. All right, yeah, bro. Like, all right, come on, man. Fucking, bro. He's like, this isn't an arranged marriage. Like, you're not engaged. Like, you you can't just assume things. Like, oh, is he actually gonna open up about Haruna? Oh, all right, yeah. And that's even what you know he said before. Like. What? All right, you know. I mean, I guess shit, you know, like, damn, what the hell? All right, I was going to say, you know, kill two birds with one stone, you know. All right, that's kind of facts. Like, she's like, oh, it uh, ruins the figure, right? Bitch, what the fuck? D just throwing them open? Like, bitch, how about you go to fucking sleep? What the hell? You know. He's like, I'm, I honestly didn't know what I expected. Streaming apps, you know. Bro, like, they need to go to sleep. Like, I'm not even gonna lie. Like, any blankets? No. Like, such fucking, oh my god, dude. Holy shit. Because he 100% he was being serious with that response. Like, Jesus Christ, dude. Are you cold? You know? Yeah, like, I'm not even gonna lie, dude. <laughs> what? Are you cold? Like, it's like, that's like, damn, I can't control the weather. Like. <laughs> fucking. The point system, bro. Like the dude, it's arbitrary. Like, yeah, like that's why I'm like, you know, this, like, it's all bullshit and arbitrary. Like, 
he's like, damn, what the hell, you know? Yeah, just like crushing, like shit. Good question, you know. Hey, at least he got out of the blanket this time. What? It's 10 till 6? Like, what? Oh, yeah. You know, it's true. He's like, why the hell did you wake me up for this? You know? All right, you know. He's like, when the fuck did I bring that down? You know? He's like, I'm going to be... We didn't even see that. Like, what the hell? You know? Yeah, she's like, wait, what the fuck? I, I don't recall that, you know? All right, bro. Like, yeah, it's like, shit, I got like at least an hour left, you know? just completely miss his school like that'd be fucking funny as shit all right oh it's already saturday again all right so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna end this here right i am curious to see what happens if I'll, I'll do that at the end but we are gonna end this here um again this one was a bit longer but i wanted to get to a point i'm pretty confident we can wrap it up in the next one um but again, I am kind of curious to see. I do want to go back and click and see what happened there. Because it seems like, funny enough, Monica's route, unlike the others, has the option to prematurely end. You know? So we already saw that with, you know, going back to normal. And that's what I presume that will do. But that, I guess, who knows? We'll see in the next one about that. I don't really have anything else to say. So, yep, that's it for this one. See you in the next one.